Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm just going to apologize ahead of time because I know my videos are really long right now. Um, last past two have been around 20 minutes. Um, and that's just because everything's so new for me and really exciting. Um, so I have a lot to say about it. Um, a lot's going on right now because second day of course. Um, so they're, they're definitely going to get shorter later on down the road. So um, just hang in with me for now. Um, I hope they're at really least semi-entertaining because they are 20 minutes. So, um, well, we just got back from shopping. Um, me and the other SoCo students. It's about it's 5.30 right now. We left at 1.10. We probably got back over under half an hour ago. So five, around five, we got back. Um, we went to, we took the buses, um, we had to pay again for the buses, um, to like a shopping area in Hachioji. It was, and then we went to a store called Don Donkey Hold It. Sounds like donkey. It's, <laughs> it's something like that. I'll, I'll put it on here, whatever it is. Um, and it, it's like a store with like seven different levels and it has like everything you can think of from like a pencil to a bike <laughs> like a big it's a chain store i'm pretty sure it's a chain store um and that was so amazing shopping in there um my friend and i were having a field day we looked at every single thing we we're just like oh my god look at this look at this look at this and <laughs> Um, I just remember for, like, a moment, we were just standing in silence, like, taking it all in because we were so, like, taken aback by everything. Um, everything's really cute and bright and colorful and shiny here. Like, all the packaging is, like, it's just very reflective, very bright. So it's, like, overwhelming looking at everything. Um, so I did buy a few things I want to show you. Um, so I had to buy, like kind of like kitchen supply stuff because I don't have any dining things um just a cup it's a just a regular cup basically plastic it was hard finding a plastic cup um they took us the girls that are from actually around here they took us up to the very top the seventh level because that was like the Hyakuen store the dollar store so everything's a lot cheaper than the lower levels um and they're, when well, I was trying to find a cup, they're all glass, like, glass cups everywhere. It said, like, even the suction labels, like, glass. And so it took me forever to find a plastic cup. And the reason why I want a plastic cup is because I don't want the heaviness of the glass, and I don't want to drop the glass somewhere and shatter it, because I can see that happening really easily and fast. Um, anyway, I got a bowl. Just a little bowl for things. Who knows what I'm going to eat here. Um, I got spoons. Just normal spoons. I didn't buy a fork or knife. Um, I just figured I got chopsticks. So I just figured I can use them as my fork, basically. Um, it's more common here anyway. I got like a case for my chopsticks. You can see that. Um, it was funny too. I was talking with one of the, um, students here and um they asked me they're like oh our chops are hard for you to use and i said i was like oh well I, since i lived in japan i was younger i was like oh no i'm used to them they're like oh and they told me how they thought um using like a like a fork and knife and spoons hard for them and i was thinking about it, i was like it's probably um the different muscles you use in your hand um it's completely different with using both and then i got a little bento box um i got this kind of like in case i carry food around with me because i feel like what's going to end up happening is i'm probably gonna have to make most of my food while here so um since campus is kind of away from the dorm it would just be nice to have like a packed lunch sometimes i guess i'll have to walk back and forth and then i just got a plastic plate just plain plate um and then i got some school supplies too which is like 
pens. I forgot pens. I only have one left that I brought with me and it's almost out of ink. So I was like, I need pens. This took a while to find too, surprisingly. And then, um, oh, from the store below is more expensive. I got this pen, but this one was actually only like 30 cents. And then I got pencils and they were both like 80 cents about. They're really cute pens. They, they're really, really nice pens um, in the lower store. But they're like $5, so I just went for the cheap ones. They were still really nice, though. And then I... Oh, gosh. I love this so much. So I got this Nita eraser. And it's like the ones that you pull apart and you can, like, mold like they're silly putty. And they always come in these really cute cases. And when I was in elementary school in Okinawa, um, kids used to go off base and get them all the time. And... It was like a really cool thing that everyone would show each other is what kind of erasers you had. Um, and then I got scissors because I didn't have scissors. Just plain old scissors. And then I have a small pencil pen case because I am, I think I said this before, like I'm a huge like pen and pencil nerd, meaning like I love them and love like variety and my pens and pencils. I like keeping them in cases. Like I have a bunch of them, but I love them all at home. Again, like, because of weight it was a big struggle for me. Um, and then I had to get shampoo and I got Pantene, which is it's in America, but there's like Japanese on it. And I was like really confused when I was trying to pick out shampoo because. They had very few, like, actual bottles like this. Most of it were these big plastic sacks, kind of. It's hard to describe, like, um, and it was refills. They were all refills, so I guess they refill, they buy refills for their actual bottles here, so they don't sell many bottles, which is really weird. We don't do that. I guess that's really good for the environment. That's very green. I didn't think about that. And then I had to get, um, laundry detergent. Which I totally forgot I need it, like, at all. Like, one girl, um, there's another girl who's getting it, and she came up to me, and she's like, oh, do you, do you have detergent? And I was like, no, I don't. And I was overwhelmed. There's a lot of detergents, and, like, I can read katakana, but there's a lot of kanji on it, which I don't know what the kanji means, because there's so much kanji I don't know. And so I had asked the girl, I'm like, what's your recommendation basically and she said oh I think this one's the best like personally basically um so I got that I was really glad because I was like oh, I was gonna forget this and not have anything to do my laundry with which I didn't think about for some reason um it was a really fun shopping experience it was cool to see the shopping kind of like a small shopping area of, it wasn't small it was a cool shopping area of Hachi Oji. Um, and riding the bus is really cool. Oh, I almost forgot. We also, I don't even know where it is. We got these passes for both the buses and subways. And it's kind of like my school back in um, the U.S. is by D.C. So we get metro passes. Um, so you just put money onto it and scan it. And so they have these passes called Suka. And, um, it, it works the same way, so you just, like, tap it with the money on it. So we got those, which I was really glad that they did that with us, because there was no way I could do it on my own. Um, even though they had things in English, it was still, it's confusing. I mean, I'm sure you know if you've ever gotten a pass for a subway, it's so, the first time is so confusing. Like, later down the road, you, get, you become a pro at it. Um, but... When you start off, it's awful. You're like, I don't know what I'm pressing. I don't know what I'm getting. But it was fine because they helped. Um, it was really, it was cool though to see everything that they had. And I had to like restrain myself so much from buying things. Because I was like, everything's super, like I said before, it's super, super, super cute. And really, it's the things you don't ever see in the US. So I'm like, I'm never going to see this again. I'd be like, I wouldn't be here for four months. There would be like tons of things you want. Um, but, like, as I go on and see, like, what I really, really want, I'll buy it then. So, I just kind of bought necessities for now. Oh, I like what I bought, too. It's still, it's still cute things, but 
it was necessities I bought. And it was really cheap. Like, um, all the stuff, except for, like, the detergent and shampoo I bought at the Hyakuin store. And it was a little over $14, I think, for everything. So that's really, really cheap. Um, and then buying the detergent and the shampoo, you know, it's like, it's a pretty big bottle of shampoo. Um, it was 10 altogether for both of those. So, like, that wasn't bad either. So I was really happy with that. So that made me feel better. I was like, oh, that's good. Um, oh, I also learned later today that um, Soka is getting phone companies to come and talk with international students, which is really good because you heard my concerns about the cell phone. It's just a really bad year. So I was super, super relieved about that. Um, and just like a recommendation for anyone who's questioning studying abroad and is doing it um, for a language, basically, I highly highly recommend this like i'm sure you've heard before but like immersion is the best thing like i've only been here for two days really one day because it was the night i came in last night um and basically the whole time i mean not always with my friends who are american and some of the english speaking people here but for the most part i've been speaking japanese um, no matter how choppy my Japanese is, I've been speaking it, and, um, sometimes my conversations with people are actually fluent for a few minutes, which is surprising. It's very, um, very normal, normal conversation I'm holding with someone, and it's very, it's exciting. It makes me proud of myself, like, I'm always beating myself up about my ability with Japanese, because I, I, I have so, I'm not even saying I'm good, I have a lot to improve upon. But I, I have studied for a long time, so to hold, even for a few minutes, a normal conversation, a fluent conversation with someone is really exciting, and it's a, it's a glorious moment for me. Um, so that was cool, and um, later today, for dinner, we're going to a sushi place, and it's really cheap sushi, apparently. It's like a dollar, like hyakuen a plate, apparently. And apparently it's really, really good. So I'm really excited. I haven't actually eaten much today. I had um, trail mix earlier, but I wasn't really hungry because of eating the curry late at night. So I wasn't, I haven't felt hungry at all today, honestly. But um, I'm really excited to try the sushi. And I'm probably going to try to take video for you guys and plate, or plates, pictures, pictures of the plates of sushi. Um so you guys can see it. I think I forgot to mention this in the second or first video about my flight, but they fed us um, on the flights um, different Japanese food sets, and I have pictures of those which I'll put onto this video maybe. Um, that was actually curry too. It was curry and I had a like a fish like cod, like a fish plate. That was breakfast. That was, that was the, that's typical. Japanese have fish for breakfast. Um, it was really good. It was really good plain food.